Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 39 of the Disguise 5 Complete LP. So, we're going to be uh, possibly finishing the main story today. I mean, definitely we are, because I refuse to end this episode until we do. So, uh, let's just go over some the basics of uh, where I am right now. So, got these characters around here. Kelia's still a freaking badass. And, uh, equipment-wise, got a couple accelerators. I have this new Dragon Warrior. I'm not sure if I was using this prior. Uh, got that. Got these on her. I upgraded most of the things on everybody. Put an accelerator. All these. Those. These. I did go to the character world for certain things. Uh, on certain characters. Uh, I could figure that out real quick just by going to the character you world. And now seeing go. the uh, duration of... Uh, yeah, so I did these characters and him once. Uh, not sure what I did with him. I may have increased his uh, ability slots. I'm not sure. But I have also Me? Uh, greatly uh, got... I do have a lot more mana because I did mana farm a little bit. So uh, now Macrocosm's level 37. <laughs> Just figured I'd put that out there. Um, and you know what? I'm going to boost it. Because now the SP is just above a thousand. Um, and you know what? I. Yeah. See, now 20,000 mana isn't anything. It, <laughs> it barely puts a dent in my uh, store of mana, so I don't really care. Um, yeah, I upgraded most of these things uh, for nearly every character. I also upgraded Metallia's, like, range on her attacks and whatnot. Uh, and boosted the power a bit. Uh, the only thing about range on attack moves is it, uh, costs a lot of mana once you get up to the, like, higher levels. So, uh, Go gonna check enjoy. the Innocent Farm, just to show you guys. Uh, so I have a lot of stat statisticians now, all various levels of 100. So I'm really happy about that because it's going to make uh, uh, farming a lot easier. Because those are percentage based, I believe, instead of just unit based. Um, and awesome. we have the squads, um, which I have people to do for. But we have capture squad full. Innocent, all these are max level. So I have all of these at max. And what I'm basically waiting for is for post game, hopefully, some squads open up or whatnot. Uh, cheat shop right now, it's uh, more towards weapon mastery, special skill, and the enemy strength is at 11 stars, because I believe that that is about where we are right now. What? Uh, research. Um, it's all, I just, uh, put some more in prior to this episode, and you can see the curry duration, it's, uh, it's a lot lower than last episode, I believe, because I have been doing quite a bit. I did do the succubus, uh, quest and whatnot, um, you'll see there, so we can, uh, I can just show you through the characters, the uh, classes, so we have... Uh, everyone except you, and I don't know what you are, and I'm guessing you're a post-game character, because you are a humanoid, unless I just didn't get one, unless I maybe missed a quest. But the Strange Feelers is actually a monster weapon that I had never gotten. That's why, uh, that's why I had no idea what they were. Um, so, let us... Uh, save and then get to the final battle. So, for this, I decide I go back to OG Killia because you know, begin where it end. I feel like it's a uh, thematically appropriate, and Why everyone like should be it? ready. Enemies are at good level. Uh, I'm hoping it goes really good because I really like this game and. Uh, there are going to be more episodes after this one because we still have to get through all the DLC and post-game stuff. 
And I'm not going to get through all the post-game stuff because uh, there's some of it that's just literally crazy. But I am going to do a hefty port, a hefty chunk of it, or at least as much as I feel is appropriate. So, episode 39 is not the last episode, but it is going to be the final episode, I just smacked my table, uh, of the main story. So, let's get to the demo. succeeds. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Where do you think you're going, Void? Your opponent is right here. Kilia. I can't stand having such an important ritual being interrupted by garbage any longer. I'll have to get rid of you first. Do it if you can! I'll super lay the crackdown on you right here and become the strongest overlord! You're underestimating us. We'll teach you that looking down on us will cost you your life. We will not allow you to get away with discarding your allies whenever it's convenient for you, Blit. You might be cocky since you've absorbed an enormous amount of energy and wield absolute power. But we've gained new powers, too. That's right! The power you gathered at random doesn't stand a chance against us! <laughs> Looks like you have all misunderstood. What? I didn't absorb all that energy to gain strength. Then what is it for? I don't have to answer that. Because I'm going to kill you all right here. Damn! Corpses again? This trick is getting old. Void. Fight me. I was wondering what you were going to say. Our fight ended a long time ago. Why do we have to settle this now, when you haven't been able to defeat me a single time? I've mastered the ultimate demon technique. I can defeat you now. Fool! The ultimate demon technique was nothing more than that old man's fantasy. Lectures about your heart and whatnot. Nothing about it is related to strength at all. Are you going to run away from the ultimate demon technique again? Run away? When Goldion decided that I would become his heir, you said it was worthless and ran away. You're just a weak man who ran away from the ultimate demon technique and from your father's grand shadow. <sighs> All right, I accept your cheap taunt. Today, I will sever the fate that connects us, as well as rid the universe of the ultimate demon technique. Lise was... Lise was always thinking about you. Whether you were pushing yourself too hard or eating enough, she even wanted Goldion and I to understand you. That's what she always prayed for. But that prayer will never come true. Unfortunately, Shut up! You caused all of that! Kill ya. It's all your damn fault! Don't you dare speak my sister's name! Okay, let's get to it. This is gonna be fun. And, uh... Okay, maybe I'll bump it up one more time. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh, one thing I do want to mention is that there was an update to the game. 
I'm not sure um, what it did, but there was an update. So, you know, maybe maybe the game won't crash as much anymore, or hopefully at all. If it didn't crash at all, I would be uh, pretty enthusiastic, to say the least. Um, Red Magnus, you can take care of him. Or no, you cannot. Uh, you guys are weak to water. Um, Who cares about being poor? Uh, you can probably do it with dazzling eyes. Let's go! And I decided for this battle, I'm just going to uh, show every move. Like I'm, I'm not gonna skip them. Let me thank you. Uh, just because you know. Might as well, right? Moves look good, and they're fun to look I at. I will never run away anymore. But it's so nice, like an eleven movement. That that was a dream at the beginning. But we luckily got plus two movement items, which vastly makes things so much easier. Okay, so what I actually should do is this. Because I'm not going to be able to... like 45% attack, which is really good. Okay. Okay, so he just used uh, all my ice sculpture, which I don't know what it does, because I didn't check. Oh, but he seems to be spear-oriented. Uh, I just skipped that uh, magic change, my bad. Uh, so it's an axe. Pretty cool looking axe, I'll give it. Yep. Craziness. I'll give you death. Uh. I have to think that's a magic change move. Not a unique to him. Oh god. Marduk. Maybe that's also a magic change. change out enough to see them, so Let's go. I do. I like it. You. You. <laughs> okay, so let's check out uh, him. So, Demon Emperor, uh, Endless Animosity, Revenge Gauge, becomes 100% at beginning of turn. Holy shit. That's a boss one, without a doubt. Turbo Boost, Multiply Movement by 2 for the next turn. So, multiply movement by two. That's... that's insane. I wonder if that procs every turn. An immortal body, and if that's a magic change one. Decrease physical attack damage taken by 50%. Holy shite, man. Energy break, ruin burst, azathoth. Okay, Kratius was magic change. Uh, okay. And strongest overlord who dragged the entire netherworlds into a war. He leads the Lost and has a history with Kilia. And the overload right now is Alma Ice Sculpture. Make an enemy you hit not be able to take an action for one turn. That's actually dumb. Like, that is beast. And that's why she can't do anything. Um, so let's overload with him. Super or with the intent of taking out the, uh, the shite characters behind him. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do 
that. Do that. Because it's decreasing physical damage. But I'm not sure if that is always proc'd or if it's just only for a small amount of time. It's kind of hard to tell. Decrease his. Unfortunately, it's only by 10%. Uh, I'm actually going to move. Okay. What's wrong, Kilia? Is that all you've got with the ultimate demon technique that you supposedly mastered? My father was a fool. If he acknowledged my talent from the beginning, he wouldn't have been in such a painful situation. You're wrong. Goldion acknowledged your talent more than anyone else. He actually wanted you to take over the ultimate demon technique. You were the one who ruined that void. This fist has inherited your father's. The great demon fist, Goldion's will. Are you brave enough to stop this fist void? <laughs> Of course, I can only use Macrocosm, because that's the only just way to do it. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Super and then after Yo all this is done, I'm going to overload with Kilia, and then Macrocosm him again. And then maybe again after. Because then he'll be a lot stronger, first of all, but then he'll also have the... Uh, He has the Hello. ability boost for in revenge mode. 100% more damage or something like that. I don't know. I think that's it. one of his unique abilities. How fragile. With these hands. How fragile. <laughs> oh yeah. Combo void dark. Oh my god, wait. Total damage is insane. Ultimate demon technique! Ultimate skill! Macrocosm! Sister. Let me thank you. <laughs> you! Sister. Okay. So that was pretty good. He has a lot of health. And... Oh, what? Oh, it's because he got hit. Okay. Well, luckily he's still in revenge mode for a couple more... Uh, turns. So hopefully. Broken face. Ah. Oh my god, he used it twice. He's just sapped SP, I'm guessing. He just used two overload skills. I'm calling bullshit on that. I like how the AI of the enemy team doesn't care if they have people on their own team within range. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Super! Uh, I'm actually gonna skip this one. Yeah. This is just taking time. And then again. Yeah, I said I, I like I say a lot of things, don't I? Uh, what's Omega Ice look like? Oh yeah, it's the uh, cute ice cream. I do like that design. All the Omegas and whatnot, I'm like, okay, yeah, those could totally be like just my characters. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And he didn't move, I guess. Okay. Yeah, but this one looks like. Right, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's it's so like 
weird. You think like, oh man, like all these cool, really cool moves. Oh my god, do I get to control? I can control Void Dark? Oh my god, am I gonna charm Void Dark? Or is it just gonna not let me? Oh my god, it does! Dude, she canonically can do it. Oh my god, his revenge is at 99. Oh, what? Oh, he wasn't charmed. That just said hit. Damn it. I guess I'll just move that him there. Um, I'll overload with you, because that'll kill some people. Okay, kill them. Um, oh my god, I love my uh, my choice of colors for Salia. Yeah. Um, so I'll do this. Berserk stream. Zoroken's ult here. And then, uh, just because I've been thinking of Overwatch. Um, and then hopefully they'll be strong enough to possibly take care of these guys. No, they will not be. Um, these guys resist gun as well, but they do not resist fist. Okay. So that, that's gonna work. Wait, is that actual Zoroken? No, that's Cotton Zoroken. Okay, here's the open that takes care of that guy. Um, Broken uh, clone. Yeah, yeah. Go right here. Yeah, you take you take the uh, thrones, Broken. You deserve it. Um, rising gale kick. Sometimes I wish it just optimized damage. Like it would be, it would just say like, oh yeah, this is the, the best the best item to kill this person, so we're going to use it. Um, Twenty-eight thousand. Possible power. Here's some light. Here's some light. Yes, good. I am optimization. Okay, so let's, let's do this. Make sure all the ads are gone. And then we can do some other stuff. I, I do like this move. It's just Dance up the I really like how he does everything with his feet go, instead go, of go. with his fists. I kill ya. I guess he avoid. How about it? Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Uh -oh. And it's really useful for getting power. mastery and skill up <laughs> because he gets four attacks. Okay, so. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overload before I lose it. Ah! Let's go! Okay. Macrocosm. Uh, unfortunately, I can't queue up more than one macrocosm. Uh, I was hoping that, like, if if you didn't uh, use multiple, it would just queue up uh, several. Like, it lets you take more actions, and I was hoping you could possibly, like, queue them all into a, uh... Uh, into a... Into a combo, but it doesn't let you. Oh, 
Magic on. Macrocosm. Okay. What up? What up? Super! I really want to get the. Ooh. Okay. I really want to get the last hit on. Cosm, but I keep forgetting that she has a unlimited range support attack. Dance of the bristle grass. Well, I'd say this fight is actually going decent well and pretty cool. It's like they're not really doing damage to me, but if I wasn't like super OP over leveled, this would actually be like a decently concerning fight. In terms of uh, just too slow, because he can bring Ultimate back all the people he killed, Ultimate and he can stop you from moving. He's always in revenge mode. Come on, fragile. Let me thank you. <laughs> How fragile! Yeah. God. Oh crap. That was a lot of dark energy right there. But he died on a counter, because he's a dumb. I do not want to skip this demo. Ultimate demon technique! Final skill! Avidia Holy Water! What happened? Is that all you've got? No! Not yet. What? Ultimate demon technique. Ultimate skill. Ultimate skill? I've never heard of that before. Ultimate demon technique. Ultimate skill. Macrocosm! think I could ever be defeated by you. Void. You're a completely different person than the guy who trained under my father. It's not just my power. I've inherited Lise and Master's hearts, as well as gotten support from my allies. That's how I attain this power. Heart and allies? Nonsense. You trying to make me say I was wrong? Hmm. Don't make me laugh. If you're gonna lecture me, I'd rather die. Void. But, Kilia, I need you to listen to me and do me one final favor. Please, help my sister. Help Lise? What do you mean? On that day, my sister died, but I took your overload skill, Alma Ice Sculpture, and stopped time around my sister. N no, it can't be. Th then Lise is still alive? No, she's dead. But it is possible to bring her back to life with the Overload skill, Broken Faith Magia. Broken Faith Magia? That's why you... But doesn't it revive the person as a corpse? It doesn't actually bring them fully back to life. Exactly. Only using an ordinary amount of power would revive her as a corpse. So it would be pointless to bring back my sister. To bring back her smile would require a ridiculous amount of energy. So that's where the magical spears came in. I'm finally starting to see the big picture. Void, are you telling me that you did all of this for Lise? Hurry, Kilia. I no longer have the energy to control such an enormous amount of power. There's no more time. 
I don't know when it's going to go off. If all that energy goes out of control, along with my sister, the entire Netherworlds will vanish. The entire Netherworlds will vanish? Please, Kilia, save my sister. This is... Taste in my mouth. Yeah, this is how our fight with Demon Emperor Void Dark's gonna end. This is super bullshit. Why? Why did this happen? To avoid sorrow, a new tragedy must be born. What Void did can't be forgiven. But. To put an end to this tragedy, let's settle this once and for all. Wait for me, Lise. No matter what's in store for us, this time, I will protect you. Okay, beating of the end. So we just got some big plot dump. That, uh, fix you up. Lise's dead, but, you know, she's gonna be rezzed super hard. So, uh, let's do a save. Boink. Right there. Uh, well, let's like get back in there. Oh, actually, I do want to put up the, uh, star level a little bit. But, damn, I, I wish I didn't have to, like, leave the map choice menu to do this. Which was just incorporated into the, uh, I'll put it up to super strong. And see how that goes. Uh, Where would you like to go, dude? But, oh god, this, this is re actually, I'm, like, <clears throat> I'm invested in this again. Like, it's really good. I like this. Lise! Lise? Is it really you? That's Killia's girlfriend? Ex-girlfriend. She's pretty, Flip. Not as pretty as me. Now that I think about it, the regret Goldion was talking about must have been this. Lise, how are you? Whoa, 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 whoa! She's super alive! What's going on? I... I don't know. However, I can guarantee that this couldn't end this easily. Down, sis. They were finally able to reunite. Let's leave them alone, Blip. There's a ton of things I want to tell you, but I can't find the words. It feels like I've been in a dream for a while. A dream where I was living peacefully with you, Kilia. Kilia? Lise, are you really Lise? Don't touch my sister! That voice, Void, 
I won't let you have my sister. I won't! Kilia! Lise, what's wrong? Don't be so scared, sister. Now, relax and leave everything to me. From now on, you and I will forever be as one. We'll never be apart again. Void? Is that you? Super, what the? Didn't Void Dark die? This is... It looks like Void Dark's enormous energy and evil thoughts are trying to consume Lise. The energy is out of control! This is what Void Dark was talking about at the end, Flynn! Shit. No one will disturb us anymore. Let's destroy all the netherworlds, and create a world just for the both of us! Stop! Please, Void! Oh my gosh! Lise Sis is still partially conscious! This is no different than a hostage situation. We can't do anything. But if we don't do something, it's gonna end horribly! It clearly said, destroy all of the Netherworlds. Sacrifice Lise to save the Netherworlds, or sacrifice the Netherworlds to save Lise. It's an ultimate choice for Sir Kilia. How cruel! Kilia! What should we do, Flip? Uh, I, I don't know. What should I do? Serafina. What are you wondering about? Isn't it your job to save Lise? You fight to protect the people who are precious to you. That's the kind of man my greatest servant is, Sir Kilia. Yeah, you're right. We have to take a super chance. Let's save your girlfriend and the netherworld, Kilia. If we fail, we'll all vanish, along with the Netherworlds. Are you sure? If that happens, it happens. It's super nice and simple. <laughs> Jeez, you guys... Lise, hold on. I'm coming to save you. Kilia. Please, kill me. What are you saying, sister? Now that I have become one with Void, I finally know. I have seen all the cruel things Void has done to revive me. Void's anger, hatred, Sorrow. I never noticed how lonely he was. I died once before. If I'm going to spread any more sorrow in this world, then... I want you to kill me, Kilia! Okay, so we get... Final battle of the main story right here. So, as you can probably imagine, these are actually relatively important in that it's really hard to do anything to her unless you take care of these. So, uh, these are Ota uh, times dark, uh, evil heart possessed. 
Uh, and I really like this. This is a really cool, like, sprite. I've Distorted feelings increase attack by ally units defeated times 25%. So by taking, by defeating the things, she gets 100% more attack, but uh, otherwise uh, she's just too strong, I believe. Uh, Lisa Rhoda, consumed by Void Dark's evil heart, she has been transformed, leading the entire Netherworlds to destruction. So, let's go. She's about to get really real, and like, it. it Oh, I just love this story. Because it's like, oh yeah. Like, they're finally reunited, but no, bitch. <laughs> like, Vo Void, like, the person himself doesn't even want this to be happening. But the evil thoughts, like, the remnant thoughts, are the ones that are doing it. Uh, I wish Crystal could move a little bit further. Um, oh. So, glasses do increase intelligence. <laughs> I realized that. Um, yeah, you guys can stay there. But, I will. Uh, Braveheart. Unfortunately, there is no possible way for me to increase uh, more than that. More than three people in this configuration of characters. But I will go into defense. Uh, okay. So, I really like this. Like, these are just really cool uh, designs. And, like, the, the plot is amazing. Like, holy shit. Because that the entire thing, you're expecting some like massive netherworld destruction scale plan. But he was never intending to destroy the netherworld, it was just to revive his sister. He seems to have like a really unhealthy, like, uh, uh, <laughs> like affection for. We are something else. <laughs> That's what you get for doing that to me. Is... Is I'm going to come over here. Okay, so he does about that much to me. So I want to get rid of those things. Um, uh, increase accuracy and invasion of all allies of the map by 100% for one turn. Yeah, I'll do that right now. It's, it's obvious, obvious for a team. I'm not that worried about them uh, missing. But it's always right weird there. to make sure that not because this lets me do like, really strong moves with no risk of uh, uh, losing anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that because I'm not going to move kill you right now. So let's see how this goes. But the uh, story of these games, the sky games in general. Uh, Dance really. of the bristle grass. Although they usually have a tendency go, go, to lean go. towards the, oh, if we don't win, we're going to destroy everything. It's never small scale. It's always really big scale, and I love it. Like, what, what do you want from a game that essentially thrives off of scale breaking? Like this move. Like this move is intended. Like look at that. Granny is as big as the earth. And the damage is just above scale. It's just all about scale. So of course the like final stuff. I skipped that. So of course like the final boss battle always has to be about like, ultimate destruction, which is good because it leaves you like okay, like under what premise is this going to happen? You guys are almost dead. Well, almost dead at like 20. A couple 
thousand. Um, I guess I'll just. I'll just write. Let's go! I'm pretty sure Kilia is going to be the one that tanks the heads. Okay, now she's in revenge. Does she? No, I don't want to kill you, Lise. You're bet. You're like. You're the best non-team girl. <laughs> like Usalia is best girl of my team. And then Sarah Phoenix is only other girl from main story because I do like Peta. Uh, but you're like, like this design is so cool and that, that sprite art. Look at that side boob. Do you like that side boob? You should because that's a good side boob. Anyone guess that reference? You, you know Family Guy. Good. But like, look, look at how like rather crap her stats are. Her aptitudes are all 50%. <laughs> like, she is essentially just a crap fighter. Like, I feel like this. Oh wait, that one wasn't dead. <laughs> Shit, didn't even see that one. I guess. Yeah. No. I'm going, Flip. Okay. That leaves me something to do. Flatty dance. You are on the right attack, right? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. You can come over here. Do that. Fortunately, you are asleep. Now let's see where that leaves. Because I do want to give the boss a fighting chance, right? The way I see this boss fight, it's because the stats are so low and whatnot, I believe it's more or less intended to be like a victory lap. Like the void fight was probably supposed to be the harder portion of this. Okay, so let's kill this thing with Hellfire Shot. Ugh, such a good move. Everything in this game is so well done. And I mean this game as a general concept idea, I'm not talking about like this port. This, you know, this port has a couple problems, you might say. Oh god, my defense is really low. But like, look at the range of my movement now. <laughs> like, this map is my bitch. Um... I'll, I'll take you from the front. We can't win, but we can't lose! What do we super do, dammit? How could this happen? Destiny is so cruel, Flip. It's too soon to be pessimistic. There definitely is a way to save Lise. Yes. If there is a way to save Lise, there is only one thing it could be. The ultimate demon technique, ultimate skill, macrocosm. It's the only way, bro! Yeah. The ultimate skill that Goldion taught me at the cost of his life. To protect the people who are precious. To save Lise, I'll do anything. Okay. Well, I mean, that basically decides what move I'm going to be using on her. Holy crap. I'll, uh, I'll let the combo start. Um, try burst? That's always a decent beginner. She has a hunt. Oh my god, I didn't even look at her health value. She has over a million health. I'm gonna need everybody in on this. For the most part. Um, I'm gonna have Zeta come out just to... Uh, just to wake him up with an item, I believe I could do it with. Oh, what does she have equipped? Death Scythe? I want to check out her equipment. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, I need an item that will... That's for assembly. I need something that will wake me from sleep. No, it doesn't look like I have any sleep gearing items. Oh well. Do it. Oh, this like makes me feel bad. Great. Ultimate demon technique! Ultimate skill! Macrocosm! 
I, I feel like I haven't been talking all that much this episode, but it's really just because I, I love everything about this entire thing. Yeah, I'm gonna end turn. No! I can't stop it! That's a really intense one. <laughs> Holy crap. God, that... Some moves get pretty extreme. That move was really extreme. Uh, I actually don't want... Because I want Killia to always be hitting her from the back. Um, otherwise, the damage is not going to be as good. So we need to always make sure... That Kilia is hitting from behind. Unfortunately, I wanted to hit with that because it's the only. Uh, a rank move that uh, Seraphine has. I can do Supreme Curry, which would boost my attack, but I haven't really boosted that one at all, so it's probably not even that good. No. In all instance. Uh, how's your attack? Yeah. Okay, so I should probably try and get Usalia to boost people again. Bother. But, like, the concept of you having to fight the person that you've only ever really seen in, in like, backstory cutscenes, who, who is never even defined as a fighter, so she would, like, she wouldn't even cause your mind as a character that you would ever have to fight. It's just a really good, it's a, it's a really good, uh, like, execution of a surprise. And... Uh, when he did the macrocosm in the last Ultimate battle against Void Dark, Technique. you could actually see the, uh, like a second Void Dark behind him, like, leaving. Uh, and you would think, oh, that's like, there's all this evil stuff being, uh, uh, being, like, pushed out of his body. But, uh, it is, but it never left. The thing that I was kind of disappointed about was I was hoping we'd get to see the ritual, no, but apparently, but it's more like the ritual just happened in the time between, or he had already used the energy. I do like, uh, I do find the uh, the red centipede s thing interesting because the like the palette colors of it make it look so much it's like in a different style than the rest of the entire game uh, that's what you get for doing it's that super to me. flat looking if you understand what I mean even though it also shows depth it just looks really flat I understand it's like all sprites and whatnot but I'm gonna put you there um, I'll do Freezing Light. Um, uh, do you have a combo move with Sorokin? Uh, Lydia Holy Waters, that's only an extreme one. Can he use it from here? Yes, he can. I should really boost that. Or, unless it went to... I'm thinking I didn't boost it because it was super uh, expensive SP wise. So damage Lord, good. And then I'll hit with uh, Critical Meteor, Bear, Macrocosm. 
how's your revenge mode? Uh, doing fine. What? What are your abilities? So, got those. Attack by 10. Okay, so you do have the increased attack. Uh, I'll support you. This fight just takes a long Let's time go. because, you know, like most of the bosses in this game, they're more or less just uh, right damage sponges. And they are damage sponges only because like, they're meant to be tough. And this boss would be very tough because the one special move it has is uh, has a lot of range. It hits a lot of people at once. Ultimate demon technique, final skill. A video because of how I've been in the game with grinding and whatnot, and the curry, even if I get damage, it gets healed. If I lose SP, I get it back. And it's because of that that this battle, I don't want to say it's trivialized, but it's a lot less dangerous. Because unless you, like, if you just went through the game, where it's just like, okay, every chapter, every chapter with only minimal grinding and whatnot, like, this boss fight would be hard. And I could have made it hard for me if I had boosted up the star count even more. Unfortunately, I didn't know where I needed to be at with it. Because I even boosted it plus two from what plus two. Oh, my voice is cracking like getting puberty. But if I had boosted even more, which I didn't know I needed to, because I thought two more from where it was would be good. But unfortunately. And I do like how this move cuts away to like a different dimension. That way the geometry of the Ultimate map Demon Technique doesn't Ultimate take away from skill Macrocosm! Like look at that total damage. Over Let me think it's so much damage. And she still has 195,000 left. And turn No! I can't stop it! Hit worm all again. I am gonna skip that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to Braveheart. Uh this cluster of people. I think I could probably take her out with one more macrocosm, yes, from behind, because I boosted. So, one last macrocosm to be presumably the final boss of the game. Ultimate demon technique, oh. ultimate skill, macrocosm! And she dies in a really cool way. Well, dies, gets defeated. But it's like a giant pillar okay. of energy. And yeah, Killy is the MVP. Ultimate demon technique! Ultimate skill! Macro Kaza! Away from my sister. Kilia, run! If we run away now, we'll only create another tragedy. We need to end this chain of tragedies. Kilia. Don't you worry, Lise. I have many reliable allies on my side. Kilia, you've changed. Yeah, and you were the one who triggered it, Lise. This is the end. I'll put all my hopes, no, all of everyone's hopes, into this one last strike. Let's go, everyone! All of our powers, overloads now! We need to concentrate them on Kilia. Right! Super leave it to me! Overload skill! Super Universe! My 
my hot-blooded hope. Take it, bro. Overload skill, Super Lumino Wolf! Mother! Father! Please lend your strength to Usalia, Blip! Overload skill, Mama of Rage! <sighs> Sir Kilia, you'll have to pay me back for this with your body! Overload skill! True! Reenact gaze! Serafina! Red Magnus! Christo! Usalia! Zorokin! I'm receiving all of your hopes! Let's go! Now, with all of our hopes combined, ultimate demon technique, ultimate skill, macrocosm! Lise! Lise! Kelia. Lise. Let's go back home. <sighs> okay. So that was a, uh, a really good boss fight. Like, I really liked it. This game is freaking phenomenal. So this episode will run a bit long because I am going to keep the credits in and you can guess like, okay, on the left side they're going to have really like, it looks like even more high def sprite artwork like stuff than uh, prior, like in the normal game. Uh, they're just going to have cutscenes of like all the memorable stuff. But uh, I really must say that this this game is honestly probably oh, my second favorite out of all of the Disgaea games, and I'm I'm talking about like story wise and whatnot. Like I'm not I'm not adding like remake advantage or whatnot. Where if I were to rank them, it would go this game Disgaea five, then Disgaea four, then D two. Then, oh, after after D2 it gets a little, like, shaky. Uh, then I would say probably, probably Disgaea 2, then 1, then 3. And I'm not including, like, remake advantages, because I really like Disgaea 4's remake on the PS Vita. And Disgaea 3 remake was also really good as well. I'm just talking about like the base game and how much I can appreciate like its story, its characters, uh, and whatnot. But that, that's definitely like my rank. But this game is just so much fun to play. Like because most SRPGs uh, where it's turn-based are what I would say are slow. Uh, they're not really let's play conducive because like you have to take time you have to think about what the enemy's going to do you have to input your commands then execute them then watch them and then uh, like there's just so much that goes into it but it's all turn based so it has like a definitive speed like this game would be one that would have like a definitive time length if you were trying to speed run it Whereas, like, certain other games, ones that are more free and based on inherent, like, technical skill, are what I would call a faster type of game. Like, you got your Bayonettas and, uh, like, those types of games where it's all about your skill and whatnot. Uh, that, like, really decided and the speed at which it goes. And I believe on the left now, we're seeing uh, the people after everything. They're going back. Or... No, it's still the story ones. Uh, but... Uh, 
It's just... This game is so nice. Because, sure, there are some characters that I don't particularly like. Or... Like, there are certain... Like, aspects of the game I'm not too fond of. But... It's, it's such a solid... Like, mix of all the aspects. Because... You have... Like, every character has their own backstory. They don't skimp out on any of them. And even if they're simple backstories, they're still... Like, believable backstories. That each... Uh, their backstories work with their characters as to why they act in certain ways. And the backstories are understandable as to why it leads them to the place they are. For villains and for uh, protagonists as well. Like, because Void Dark, uh, the entire game, had been a villain who's just destroying things for some plan you don't know. But, it, like, even if it was, I'm going to destroy everything. Because, like, my sister died, that would still be a rather believable story. Because losing a family member is a big thing, especially when it's a sibling. Like, I have a brother in it. Like, I know that I, I would be more than wrecked if I ever lost him. And Void Dark and Lise would Twins, so they're even closer. And he lost he lost his older sibling, someone who's probably like a major pillar of support for him throughout his entire life. And then you just get this nice scene. Uh, and it's just understandable. And like Majorita, it's like okay, she's a bitch and doesn't uh, care about anyone and whatnot. She's really selfish. You punish your software here. You're great. I love you. Uh, but she was a war orphan. So, like, not her fault. And this is just really, that's a cute image. I like it. <sighs> this isn't the time to rest, you guys. Once we're done rebuilding Scorching Flame, we need to go super help the other netherworlds. What? Are you serious, Master? Give us a break. Know your role and shut your mouth! We promise that once all the Netherworlds have been rebuilt, we'll fight one more time. Ah, the promise you made with Kilia? I heard that you got your ass whooped. Who, who's been running her mouth and telling lies? It was Seraphina Cease. Sarah, you... Making up some Brahma bullshit! The overlord of Scorching Flame, Red Magnus, united all of the netherworlds that he rebuilt and took his position atop Super Scorching Flame. The big hearted and hard bodied Red Magnus became a great overlord and earned the respect of his underlings. His name has since gone down in history. However, the results of his match against Kilia were never recorded would still remain a mystery. He lost. You're running away again, Serafina. Huh? F father what are you doing here? Running away? Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Serafina, isn't it about time for you to forget about that man? No, I can't forget him. I can't stand the fact that there is a man who won't kneel before me. I'll make him mine one day. Please be prepared, Sir Kilia. Temptress Princess Overlord Serafina resolved the issue of Gorgeous's bankruptcy within a year and regained the prestige of being the richest netherworld in all the three worlds. Everyone praised her for her business acumen and beauty, and many gentlemen came from various netherworlds to propose marriage to her, but she politely refused them all. In the official history records, there is no mention of whether the Overlord of Gorgeous, Serafina, ever married. Yes? Hello? 
Yoo-hoo, Christo! How you been? I'm fine, thank you. The reconstruction of the Netherworlds is going smoothly. That's great! But you're an odd fellow, Christo. The next Archangel position was surely going to go to you, but you told them that you wanted to stay in the Netherworlds to study. We should learn more about the demons. That way we can eliminate pointless confrontations and prejudices. At least, that's my opinion. Why, one day, an angel and a demon might join hands to save the world together. I have a strong feeling about this. Ha! Huh, you've grown so much. I feel like you've gone too far away, and I feel kind of sad. <laughs> You'll see me again soon enough. But the incident has already been resolved, so next time, please don't call me by my code name. Christo, who spent many years rebuilding various netherworlds, returned home, where he was awarded the position of Archangel and was appointed as the Seraph. Afterward, his name became best known as one of the key personnel during the incident that shook the three worlds. But that is a story for another day. Mother, father, I have finally rebuilt Toto Bunny Plip. It wouldn't have been finished this quickly if it was only up to Usalia, Blip. It's all thanks to the citizens who supported me, Blip. I'm still inexperienced as an overlord. I still have a lot of things to learn, Blip. But please don't worry, Blip. I will make Toto Bunny a paradise for demons who prefer peace. The second overlord of Toto Bunny, Usalia, welcomed many demons who preferred peace and was able to found a utopia for demons. Strangely enough, later historians pointed out that the utopia she created might have been what Demon General Majorita sought. Yeah! Ha! Hey, stay on your toes, guys. Clench your fist like this. Yes, Sensei! A healthy heart and a healthy body. Those are the secrets of the ultimate demon technique. Understand? Yes, Sensei Zoroken! Louder! Even louder! Especially the Sensei part! Yes, Sensei Zoroken! All right, keep it up. <laughs> I'm a master now. My, how things have changed. Soon after the battle ended, Zoroken built a small dojo and devoted his time to spreading the ultimate demon technique. The dojo carried the name Goldion's Dojo in honor of the founder of the ultimate demon technique. Zoroken's contribution to netherworld martial arts by spreading the ultimate demon technique, which became the basis for many other styles, is immeasurable. And Kilia and Lisa Rhoda are... Finally, we're able to come back home. Yeah, I never thought we'd ever be able to return. Since it hasn't been used for a while, this house is pretty worn down. You'll have to work really hard, Kilia. We have all the time in the world. Please put me to work as much as you want. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be busy for quite some time. Kilia, when the house is ready, let's invite your friends, okay? Those guys? Here? Yes. I want to thank them for saving me. And I would like to be their friend, too. I want to know all about the people who are precious to you. That is okay, right? Of course. I want you to get to know them too. And the story of our strong bond. Ugh. So good. Ugh. Yeah. That one gets its own special slot. Boom. Finale, dedicated to the precious people, end. <sighs> and with that, I'm going to end this episode here on a really long episode. So, I hope you enjoyed the main story of Disgaea 5 Complete. And I hope you will join me so we can go over the remaining DLC and the post-log, or epilog, post-game stuff. So with that, 
buddy Bison is signing out, and I hope you all have a very nice day.